Hello, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, wherever in the world you are. Today we're going to talk about the bowhead. We are going to go over its fit, how to fit it properly. What does it carry? It's a freighter, but what is it used for? And how to fly it properly. Uh, also, some other things about limitations, about how much you should carry in it and all of that stuff. So let's get straight to that. So, this is a bowhead, and uh, it is considered a freighter. It um, is designed, though, for carrying ships, not cargo. The ships are the cargo, and uh, you can see I've got a little bit of cargo here, but primarily, I've got a bunch of ships in here. So, I've got a bunch of ships at this location that I'm transporting back up to Jita, getting ready to do missioning someplace else. These are all mission ships. And uh, some of them are really cheap, some of them are not. And uh, so, anyway, you've got uh, at full skills, 1.92 million um, cubic meters in it. The fit on this is pretty basic. Um, it is, a uh, 500 MN, well, actually, so on EWB, if you're live, it's exclamation point EWB. If you're not live, go to Eve Workbench and then to Marky Dragon, and you'll see my bowhead here. It is this exact configuration, but I'll explain it here. Um, it's a compact micro warp drive, 500. Uh, it is uh, two multi-spectrum hardeners. It is uh, two reinforced bulkhead twos, uh, a damage control two, and then here, I think all three of these are the same. Yes, they're capital transverse bulkheads. And the capital transverse bulkheads, they, um, they give a hit point bonus of 25%, um, and I believe that that's primarily in whole, uh, I don't remember. So, uh, just designed to increase the ship's total hull hit points at the expense of cargo capacity. Drawbacks of fitting these may be reduced uh, by training armor rigging, which I also have armor rigging probably at five. I have mastery five on this ship. So, it's reduced my, my cargo hold here. So what? This ship is not designed to carry a lot of cargo, and you would never carry it that way. Now, you can carry more in this than uh, we're going to undock and we're going to start uh, heading out. You can carry more in this in value than you can a regular freighter, and there's some reasons for that. Um, so, now, leaving station, there's some tricks to um, to flying this faster, the only time it doesn't apply is when you're leaving a station. Station ejects you at a certain speed. You're already up to a speed. And so there it is right there. I'm going to hit jump. If I turn this on and uh, tell it to give me propulsion, it doesn't necessarily help me any in getting to warp here. But you're going to see at the next gate that I use it and I use it to give me a 10 second warp. So if we look at the at uh, stuff here, it's 23 seconds to get to warp, flies at 1.62 AU. I, I might have a couple of implants in that help me with a little bit faster. I think it's actually 1.5 is the normal. And, um, and so uh, anyway, and it says I have 600 and 65,000 EHP if I, um, let's see, let's simulate this. 713,000 EHP, which is a lot in high sec. It really is, it's a lot. It takes a lot of ships to take this kind of thing out. Then, if you are to overheat these, it's 731. Doesn't add much more in overheating these, but Everything you use everything you've got if you get attacked. I have never been killed in a bowhead 
no matter the amount of cargo that I was carrying. That's not to say that bowheads aren't killed. They are very, very rarely. Um, very, very rarely are they a gank. Typically, they are um, that somebody was flying it and they had a war deck on them or they forgot that they had kill rights on them or something like that. Um, ganks, it takes a lot of ships, a lot of expenditure from uh, the gankers in order, to, in order to get you. All right, so for flying faster, it's really simple. Very, very simple. I make sure that I'm aligned to this. <laughs> I'm going to hit my uh, jump. I'm going to turn on my propulsion and then turn it back off again. And this is a 10 second cycle and watch what happens when it ends the 10 second cycle, it is going to jump. And then the next one, we will not use, use it and we'll see how long it takes. So here we go, turn it on, turn it off. And it most likely will get to warp before it even um, gets fully aligned. See, there we go, we are in warp. So now at the next one, unless there's some sort of reason I need to take off really fast, I will show you the difference in how fast it takes off without that turned on. So while you could put in more shielding or something here in mid, something else to give you a little bit more EHP, uh, I don't think you want to do that because it won't give you that much more and it'll be at the expense of getting off the gate so fast. You can put these bulkheads up to like the ore bulkheads and, and a damage control. Maybe you could use an abyssal damage control or another type of damage control with it. And you could uh, um, get a bit more EHP out of it. Um, but you know, I don't know if it's worth the extra expense case. So it's fine. There's nobody here at the gate. I'm going to hit my warp and you're going to see it's going to take the full 23 and whatever seconds. And um, so using the propulsion trick uh, will help you fly faster. And so now still with freighter freightering, there are some time zones that you don't want to um, that you, you don't want to be flying cargo that's worth a lot. Um, the best times to fly cargo are weekdays, except for Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and pretty much any time of the day. The um, the kind of the highest peaks in the game of you know mid. Uh, mid-afternoon in the United States, which is early evening, prime time in Europe and stuff, you know, that kind of time range is a little bit more hostile, but, um, you know, you fly early or you fly really late, you're gonna encounter a lot less um, uh, friction from other players. Uh, the only time that I do not recommend flying any freighters, unless the value is really low, is um, Fridays are medium level hazardous in that same time zone in uh, you know Europe prime time uh, afternoons in in um, the United States and then Saturdays and Sundays same time are the hottest times Sunday actually being the hottest typically so. Um, if you have something that's really valuable that you're uh, wanting to take and you have to go through some place like Udema, then you would uh, maybe wait. And um, the, the trick to staying alive in the game in freightering is by being patient. So there you go. There is an overview of the bowhead and uh, what it can do, how much it can haul, and everything. And um, it's really great for 
if you are moving you know ships for a fleet or you are uh, moving like uh, what I'm doing I'm moving uh, ships that I'm using for uh, mission running I've uh, done up the place that that I've been working at um, and uh, so now I'm gonna move uh, move to another location and uh, and work from another location. I haven't decided where to go yet. And um, so the and the only thing about the uh, uh, the more expensive uh, modules in it is that it doesn't necessarily drive active. The added expense gets the added attraction. Ne not necessarily worth it. But do it however you want. I wouldn't bling one of these out because you don't get enough more for the bling, um, especially if you're adding another billion to it. I mean, it's already though, it's quite expensive ship. Uh, 3.4 billion as fitted right here. Um, and, oh, and it's counting my cargo. So um, it's less than that. Yeah, it's less than 3 billion for sure. So. All right, there we go. So now, um, let's see here. One last thing. Do not use these in um, in null or low sec. They are not meant for null or low sec. If you want to carry ships, transport fitted ships in null or low sec, you do it with a carrier not with a bowhead. Also, one other last thought is that in the ship's cargo, the ships that you're carrying, they can only carry charges. And what I mean by that is they can carry ammo, they can carry um, scripts, uh, they can carry probes, stuff like that. They cannot carry... Um, they cannot carry... Uh, MTUs, tractor units, they can't carry any of your other loot that you've gotten or anything. And so if you have a lot of extra ammo that you need transported while you're doing these, load up all your ships with all of your ammo. Doesn't matter what type of ammo is in them, it'll just take, they'll take ammo. So load them all up with ammo and then you can move the ammo at the same time and have fewer trips in a, in a, um, you know, a freighter or some other ship. So, all right, there you go. There is the bowhead. Um, okay, so, um, <clears throat> oh, oh, let's see here. So, while we're flying here, let's talk about Let's talk about this right here why I've got this on so um, I don't know it's been a week and a half two weeks ago now um, I uh, went to the chiropractor and because I had some sort of pinched nerve going on something like that something where I had a little bit of numbness in one of my fingers and, um, and I just, you know, how sometimes, you know, you get, um, a knot in your back or whatnot and it's, and the muscle starts pulling. And so it'll pull your spine or your vertebra out just a tad bit. And it's enough to cause you a lot of discomfort and stuff. And it's the kind of thing a chiropractor can easily pop back in and adjust for you. Well, I went to the chiropractor um, oh, cap boosters are ammo. Yes, cap boosters can be in there too. And, um, so I, um, basically went to the chiropractor. He cracked my neck one direction and it was just all over for me. Um, you know how they do the neck crack. And 
I'd been to this chiropractor before and stuff. And um, it uh, uh, basically, it sent me to the hospital. Um, I didn't go to the hospital right away because every time I've been to the chiropractor, you know, I'm a, feel a little bit more sore after being adjusted. Um, and then, you know, you know, you loosen up and the next day I'm feeling pretty good. So, uh, this one, um, I was in a lot more, a lot more pain when I, uh, left the chiropractor and he popped me one direction and then, and then it was so bad that I, it hurt me so bad that um, we couldn't do the other direction. I just told him I couldn't do it. I was in just way too much pain until he stopped. And anyway, then, then the next day I was in the hospital. So um, anyway, I have um, injured myself really badly. I have at least two discs that are in the severe range, and those are the things in between your vertebra. I have damage to all seven of them in my neck, varying degrees. The lower ones have the most damage, and I, um, I'm having a lot of problems with it. I'm off the pain meds now, which is good. And um, I have appointments for pain management and I have an appointment for, um, I think it's, is it, is it orthopedics? I'm not sure, a bone doctor and stuff. And um, we're gonna see what's what. I don't know how this happened, meaning that, um, meaning that, uh, that drive active. I, I had an MRI and radiology exam reports that it's not from an old injury. Um, which I don't know when I injured myself. I actually don't know. Um, my chiropractor, my wife went to my last chiropractor appointment with, with me. She says that he said that, uh, it was something that happened five or six years ago by what he's looking at. But nothing's happened to me in the last 10 years, more than 10 years. I was in a bad car accident when I was 19, which may have hurt my neck, but uh, the damage doesn't look old. So anyway, it's really hard to say what, um, what the whole deal is I just I just don't know and um, so I, I hope to find out I, I hope to find out how this happened um, and so I'm at the point right now where I am um, you see all these guys the red flags they're not the red flags but yellow flags Another thing about flying these. Die up.
He has no history. Hmm. All right. I don't know really what they're doing. He's not very old. Um. So. <laughs> anyway, I was just looking, looking uh, people up because, well, you know, I don't want to be set up for a, for a gank. Um. That's the other thing about about flying stuff like this is that if you're worried that uh, you know you're getting set up or whatnot, then um, then you can um, just dock up for a while. They're not going to wait forever for you. So. Yeah. All right. Got yeah, seven forty in the morning here, and it's already eighty degrees out. Crazy. Oh, by the way, today's the last day on the uh, promo pack that we have in our store that is the Foundation Day pack. Um, and oh, I see it has a message about if we sell out we'll restock in the morning we got plenty of stock we will not be restocking in the morning oh, yeah. let's change that Another dragon boarding the train i'll show oh, it to y'all welcome back let me hand out some gold all right oh my let's see resub 101 months my barker here not barking my thing here not telling me there we go bogey king 101 months thousand eighty oh, yeah. gold boarding the train all aboard oh my god choo, another big choo. one great to see you back pushing on marquee beard all right so for bogey king 101 months Tier one, that's eight thousand eighty gold to everybody here, and then Big Toe Magoo, one hundred months at tier three. That's going to be like ginormous. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest payout I think I've ever done. Forty thousand gold to everybody here. In holy shit, Big Toe Magoo's honor. Wow. Yeah, that's big. All right. All right, I'm in the pinch point. Stop drive active. This is, uh, this is Udema. This is where most of the bad shit happens. So, looks like we're good. Oh, man. Well, it's good to be doing a show again. I have, um, I have missed doing it. And, um, like I said, the, the shows are not gonna be uh, very long at the beginning here. I gotta work up to it again. I I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm not taking pain meds any longer. The pain meds just screw me up really bad and they can be very very addictive uh, so I really wanted to limit that the usage on that and um, 
So I have a I have a doctor's appointment today for pain management, where they're gonna help me with other ways to deal with the pain other than drugs. Um, I did. This is funny. My wife asked my regular doctor. She says, "What about him getting his medical marijuana card?" And my doctor says, "Well." If this pain is long term, we can probably do that. And then he says, but there's a catch. My doctor is funny as all get out. He's like, another dragon boarding the train. All aboard. Choo choo. Says there's a catch. First time you fill one of your prescriptions for for that marijuana, you gotta invite me over. <laughs> He was joking, of course, but oh god, he's a funny guy. I really like this doctor. He's done me really good. All right, so Furby Scalper, thank you so much. Forty-seven months as a sub. All right. I gotta get my notes straight here. Two thousand one hundred and forty gold. Everybody here, 1,140 gold. Everybody here in Furby Scalper's honor. Thank you, thank you. It looks like we've got a hype train going on. We're at level three. That big Toe Magoo one sent that through the roof. Bogey King's 101 months, too, sent that, you know, really high, too. All right. So. Whoo Anyway. I'm just saying that uh, I got to work up to doing longer shows again, and um, I'm getting worn out pretty quickly. I've been working on video stuff, been working on this other video project a little bit, and I've been working on uh, some other stuff for Eve and some other games, but I find myself working at like 15 minute increments and then taking a break for an hour. <laughs> So, my plan is, though, by September 1st, to be up to the level where I can do eight-hour shows, because that's when I plan to have Starfield, and I plan to be doing it here on the show. It's my goal. We'll see how things go. Um, but for right now, for the next two weeks, I'm scheduling just one hour each show, and then however long it goes, we'll probably go beyond that. But we'll see, you know? So, anyway. All right. That's a pretty good load of ships I'm taking to Jita. Might try CBD oil. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm not a big fan of marijuana and stuff like that. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of any mind-altering drugs. I like my mind the way it is. So, um, and, and I'm not sure we want Mellow Dragon on the show or, you know, a dragon that can't stop talking that just talks really fast all the time and just blah, 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 blah. I, I, I actually don't know how it would affect me. So. Sub drive active. Uh, so. And we'll start getting videos up again on YouTube for for the game stuff. And um, so every once in a while on Twitch chat, there is a thing that barks out about, uh, about um, another project I'm working on. It links to a video, you can see that. I'm gonna remove that pretty soon. It's kind of a channel that I don't really uh, 
mention who I am in it or anything. <laughs> so. Could become a food stream. Oh yeah, must have more chocolate. I don't need more food. Although, one of these would be nice. Turkey stick. Right. Did have also some West Coast of US people leave comments to me about my show schedule and being shorter and everything and how they weren't going to be able to see it live and I understand whether shows are going to happen earlier in the day rather than later in the day you get a better dragon er the earlier it is I'm an early morning dragon not a late night dragon mm -hmm. Wow, and apparently I have sun in my eyes now. Hmm. Peeking through the tree over there. Just right to light me up. I do plan on doing some more um, shows about hauling and stuff. But we got to have some more hours in a show to, to make a dent in that. Argon. All right. I read what you said. Thanks for the feedback on that. Web drive active. Uh, at this point, I'm not going back to a chiropractor. Not for my neck. So... I'll see. We'll see what uh, the other doctors say. It's kind of two camps. There's some that believe in chiropractors, and there's some that absolutely do not believe in chiropractors. So, hey, while well, I'm flying here, today's the last day officially for this pack. Don't mind this restock thing. I didn't know that was there. But this is the, uh, the Foundation Day pack for Amar. 1,000 plex, 256,000 skill points, and 8 skins, one per person, plus these uh, outfits. Um, and so it's got um, it's got all these skins included with it. Look at the one for the new Lancer. Is this one called Bane, I think? Yeah. And one for Paladin. So, that's nice. I may fly with that one. I like using Paladins. Whiskey could help take the edge off. Uh-huh. A little early for that, though. Drive active. I hadn't had a shot of whiskey in like two weeks until last night. I was like, oh, that tastes good. 
I didn't want to mix it with any of the pain pills or anything. So we are flying into Jita now. I figure that uh, this load is worth six or seven billion. I'm not 100% sure. But it's got some nice ships in it. It's also got a couple ships in it that were built by Hateless that I use. I wish Hateless was still around. Yeah. Those of you who don't know, you know, Hateless was an Eve streamer, did a lot of uh, high sec content and stuff. And he died a few months ago now in a motorcycle accident. So. And his name really uh, was very much like his requested. attitude. He didn't really have hate for anybody. He was hateless. So. All right. So let's just drop off a few things in here that I'll sort later. And then I don't know how I'm doing on shelf space and everything for ships and stuff. I am thinking that this, this sounds crazy. I might have to start using a second station here in Jita for holding stuff because I keep running out of shelf space. Um, so um, I told you that the, this, this load was with, was worth something and like, um, so like right here, this ship, 4.2 billion. Um, and I don't think any of the others were really, really expensive. Uh, I think this one is probably just uh, pretty normal. Well, 1.6 billion. Um, 400 million. Here's one of them built by Hateless. He actually built this ship. And he fitted it, everything. It's not just I used his design. He actually owned this one and transferred it to me. Oh, 929 million on that one. On a little Nurgle. Yeah. All right, let's dump these in. I'm gonna have to do something about all these ships I got. Cause I got a lot. First world problems, running out of space, yeah. So there's my ship hanger. I've got 317 ships in here. You can, you only have a thousand, you only have a thousand um, hang, shelf space, hangar space. So, um, you know, and I can, I can reduce it a bit by, you know, some of these leopards, like, you know, repackaging them. And, uh, so I probably have some other stuff in here. I may have some shuttles in here or whatnot. Um, so, uh, but these are all fitted. Hmm. Look at these, these, uh, these are Corvettes. I can just probably delete all of them.
Now, why didn't it delete these four? That's weird. There's something in them or something? Hmm. All right. Well, down to 299 chips. And then I do have a bunch of containers. You actually can put ships in containers, by the way. Welcome to the dragons. Um, so, you know, I could use station warehouse containers and put a bunch of frigates in them. I don't know how many I could fit. Maybe a hundred, something like that. Maybe more. Chuma, thank you for the follow, welcome. Now I'm just not sure. And then I do have stuff to put away here. I have 131 items here. If I'll put more away. I am, uh, I, I do um, pick up all this stuff and get it ready to sell um and like here is my stuff that's consumables going to market 912 items it's getting pretty full um 67 billion worth it's time to start selling some stuff huh this right here does anybody still have one of these? This is the golden pod. Cheapest one, 26.9 billion. Yeah, you can have a thousand items. You can have more delivered if, um, if you are, um, uh, have contracts delivered. I had uh, 1,400 and some odd items after having a bunch of uh, deliveries sent to me. And it, um, it, didn't, uh, it didn't go so well. So um, it was very difficult. I had to create some containers repurpose some containers as just junk or stuff to to go through so so this has ammo and all kinds of things it's ordered in in the order of value i'd like to start selling these mastered arms again but i don't know if their value is going to come up they're at 96 million i usually like to wait until they're like 120 million but the way that the CCP has been doing packages lately and stuff, they have a lot of these boosters in them. And so um, the price has been lower on them. It's the way it's been. So. I will uh, put some of this stuff up for sale. Is this expert cerebral accelerator worth two billion? You can't, uh, so all the new packages do not have these. They're all account bound now. This is from an old package. They're all account bound now. So. And this women's crimson. Is it really worth this much? 304 million. Are they actually selling for that? Mm. Yeah, they're selling for 300 million up here. Not lately.
I have a bunch of geckos someplace, or did I sell them all? Maybe I sold them all. I don't remember. But I also have, you know, like high slot stuff. Um, and then keys and books. Low slot. Mid slot. Uh, NPC stuff. This is all stuff that you got to sell to NPCs. You got to take it to them. Sell them. They're usually far away. And then I got my skin stock here, which says 188 billion. It's actually worth more than that because there's a bunch of stuff down here that for some reason doesn't have a price on it and like uh, the golem state police skins I have six of them here and um, they're going for nine billion Wow are they really selling for that much they are I mean, they're, they're an awesome skin. I think it's, uh, where'd it go? There must have been a hole up here somewhere. is All right sell this item three months eight point <coughs> seven billion. There we go. Well, thanks for the ban in Twitch chat. Mm. All right. I'm going to undock again here. Minute. Um, first time to step away for just a moment. Be right back.
All right, thinking about this, I think I may have another bowhead somewhere. I do. I have another bowhead at the location where I'm headed to. So let's just, uh, Maybe board a shuttle here. Not much EHP. Oh, I have this really super expensive one for this. Wow. All right. Sweet. How much does the bowhead cost? I think about 2.8 billion. I reckon now that it's empty, we can look real quick at uh, maybe if I can find it. what its cost is. Three point four billion. That's nothing in it. Hey Squiz. Nice to see you, buddy. Oh yeah. Another dragon boarding the train. All aboard. Back wagon, thirty five months. Choo. Good day. All right. One month away from the tripling. Self drive active. See here. What, 700 gold? Everybody here in Jack Wagon's honor? Thank you, thank you. Look at those tornadoes there, just waiting to bust things up. Those would be the leopard killers. I've lost my mouse, there it is. actually have three or four bowheads um, I've got some on some characters that I previously used which I haven't been using lately so I let them go alpha and I should hand, have them hand over their their bowheads to uh, um, Hand over the bowheads to them, to him. Yeah, maulers are easier to use for leopards, yeah. I actually got killed a couple of days ago. I hadn't died in so long. So long. And, um, yeah, I was in a leopard. Got blown up by a mauler. Yep. A couple jumps away from Jita. How it goes. Character hadn't died in a couple of years until then.
Look at all them freighters. Wow. Well, that was impressive. Yeah, some rather larger ships, supers and titans logged out on alpha accounts now. What happens if you log into those tunes without upgrading the account? So, what happens is you are still in the ship. You are still able to fly it. A lot of its uh, stuff will be inactive on it. You probably wouldn't be able to shoot anything. Um, your um, Some of your modules may not turn on and everything. Uh, if they're cloaked and it's like a Tech 2 cloak and not a prototype cloak, you won't be able to recloak. Your only option will be a safe log off. If you can safely log off before you're found. If you're in a system that has a friendly station that you can dock at, then you can dock. You will not be able to undock with it though. So that's what happens when you're alpha. SWAT skin on this thing. Kind of funny. I think this was one of the mystery... mystery... mystery box... items. Mystery items. The skin. So, you can't dock it at a Citadel, but you could dock a, a Super at a Fortizar and Titans at, um, Titans at, uh, um, Deep Stars. I don't think you can uh, do a super. Maybe, you, maybe can you do capitals at citadels? I'm not even sure you can do a capital at a citadel. I know you can't do a super at a regular citadel. Astrohus or whatever. Have to be a bigger one. You could always, uh, if you're going to transfer it to somebody else and there's nobody else in the system and that other pilot is able to fly it, 
then you just log in, have them log in, you fleet up immediately, they fly to you, you eject from the ship, they get into it, they go do whatever they're going to do, and um, Drive active. as long as there's nobody else in system, you should be able to do that okay without anybody noticing. If there's other people in system, they may notice it. Seven day starter packs on our on our site, exclamation point. Um keep on in chat. We have the uh starter pack for five bucks that's seven days. Then you could transfer off any and all ships if you wanted to give it to some friends or whatnot, be five bucks if you haven't used one of those packs before. Although if they're all if they're all on different accounts though, you'd have to do one for each account. Drive active. Kinda suck, but you know. I like Crush Lock. You mentioned him, Nick Paw. Yeah, him and I talk a bit. Alright, I am almost to the station. This other bowhead should be configured exactly the same. The bowhead fit I have is the only one that I truly believe in. station don't forget to tell them about raid shadow legends now they've offered me like 50 times to pay me oodles of money to show raid Don't shadow legends on the show and i've turned them accepted. down every time and i've asked them to stop offering it to me and they keep offering me money it's getting irritating I could swear that there was a bowhead here. Oh, there it is. Another one. Maybe we should put a different skin on this one. It's set up exactly the same. Oh, I only have the Rose of Dawn. All right, well then, that's what it is. All right. There we go. I think that's going to be it for today. Like I said, while I'm still healing up, shows are going to be shorter. And, um... So... I, um... Thank all of you for being here. I plan on another show tomorrow, around the same time. Um, most likely Eve, 
but I'm leaving room for some other stuff too. There are a couple of other games that I'm enjoying out there. And I got doctor's appointments today, pain management, orthopedics tomorrow. Man, this shit sucks. <laughs> but this is a bright spot in my day. Having y'all here hanging out with me. Thank you much. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you all in the morning. Fly safe.